Last night, we saw maybe an upset in the men's one meter springboard. Can we see the same thing tonight for the women? We could. We'll see a nice mix of women competing from four of the different schools. Got to start with the leader, Haley Hernandez, the freshman from the University of Texas, competed in the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games, where she got ninth on the three meter springboard. Matt Scoggin, her coach, telling me she has not had any post Olympic drop off. If anything, she helps motivate and push the women seniors on her team. As for her improvements in her diving, her hurdle has helped her front twister, which was actually her highest scoring dive in the prelims. As for someone to challenge Hernandez, that's Jia Yu Chen, the standout from Kansas. She actually got second on the one meter springboard at Big 12s in 2020, two years ago. She didn't compete last season due to COVID-19 and her head coach, Alan Fang, telling me Jia Yu Chen's fun personality helps motivate and pick up her teammates. So a handful of really competitive divers in the finals tonight from WVU, TCU, Texas, and Kansas. Kyle should be a good one, back to you. Marion T. Meyer of West Virginia competing in her first Big 12 Finals. Her coach, Carla Helder, telling me Marion is two steps forward, one step back kind of girl. Sometimes her brain goes faster than her body. So Coach Helder says she's a smart woman. I just got to control her brain sometimes. <laughs> Skilkin, the junior, has such a gorgeous pike when she folds into the air. She almost kisses her knees. She gets so tight. And that's one of the elements that the judges are certainly looking for when they're judging the dives. Boyle gets so much height on this dive and squares it out so nice. In the twisters, it's key for the divers to find that square and line it up right in line with the diving board. The square actually helps stop the dive, and she does a great job with that. I saw T. Meyer was working really hard in the warm-ups on, on her entries and stretching the lines of these dives. And she's so focused on those elements of her diving. Jordan Skilkin out of Texas. I love her lines. She just stretches to finish the dives and follow through with the entries. 56.40 points. She'll certainly climb the leaderboard with scores like that. Chen doing a front two and a half in the pike position. Setting up her feet on the diving board. Looking at her spot, she'll take off. So much height that she gets in the air. She's so powerful, yet she's petite, so Looks can be deceiving. A diver like Chen makes the most out of the springboard. Very solid. Two and a half, you see she bends the springboard, gets her arms all the way through, squares out above the springboard, drills the lineup. It's Haley Hernandez. <laughs> Hernandez and Chen back to back, same dives again. So the judges have something to go off of, comparing and contrasting these two women. Chen with a really strong kick out. She almost has a layout position when she kicks out of that dive. She just gets so much height off the springboard. She has so much time that she can do that. Janie Boyle, unbelievable finish after being slightly back on the edge of the diving board. Does not let it affect her in the air as she completes this dive. Just beautiful entry, disappears in the water. Only four points separating Hernandez and Jia Yu Chen as of now.
Chen has so much rhythm in the air. She makes all of her dives look so easy. She has so much grace and elegance, very gymnastic-like movements. 51, 25 points, that'll certainly keep her where she is or maybe bump her up based on how Hernandez does her next dive. Here is Hernandez with her fifth round dive. So solid, she's just on her game tonight. And the pressure's on Kyle, right? It's, it's neck and neck, back and forth. Every step, every dive, every movement makes so much of a difference. And she has just been so strong this entire competition. Dayton just floats off the diving board in the air with such a tight twist. She wastes no time off the springboard. God, she rides the springboard so well. You can see her placement in the water. She's not too far, she's not too close. She's right where you wanna be for those reverse twisters. Everything matters when it's a close contest. The pressure is on. And she stays hot under pressure, drilling this reverse twister. Stunning. Hernandez just needs over wow. 40 points and 70.2. 70.2 on that dive. Haley Hernandez is your Big 12 champion as a freshman. Her first event she's ever competed at the Big 12 Conference Championships, and she wins it. It all came down to these dives. O'Neill with such poise on that reverse twister. Really finished strong. Jia Yu Chen does a really nice reverse twister to finish off the meet. All three women doing the same exact dive. The judges can contrast and compare them. Hernandez, perfect hurdle, squares out above the springboard and just disappears in the water. Her teammates going crazy because she also earned a career best score of 360-80 as well as Jia Yu Chen earning a career best with her score of 336.55. And Connie Dayton's 302.60 was also a personal best for her as well. So really solid diving on the one meter tonight. And now we crown the winner, Haley Hernandez, the freshman from the University of Texas, earning her first career Big 12 Conference win. Only Paula Pineda's winning score last year is better than Haley's tonight in Big 12 one-meter finals history. What an accomplishment.